I heard you want to make better cinematic sequences, eh? Me too. Well, I got a few tips to share with you. My first tip for you is, if you're arriving at a new location, especially haven't been there before, whether it's something like the beach or the Grand Canyon or, you know, any cool place you want to film, um, just take a few moments and enjoy your environment. Look around. Before you grab up a camera, look for shots you may want to get ahead of time. That way you got to sort of have a rough plan to go for. I know when I first get there, I just want to get the camera and start filming everything. But if you just take a few moments and just look for different things, you can get your foot. But if you spend a few moments just focusing on what you want to get, you can save yourself from running around like a headless chicken. All right, so the next thing is foreground. Look for ways you can include foreground in your shots. This helps create depth in your scene. So get low to the ground or shoot through objects. Like if you're in the jungle, you can shoot through some of the leaves. It creates like a blurry foreground element and really helps create a sense of depth and space in your scene. This is done frequently in photography and I think it should be implemented more often into YouTube videos. The next thing is to start trying to implement yourself more into your videos. Include shots of you in the location. This not only separates your videos from the rest out there, but also it's a good way to look back on um, how you react in that moment and how you feel, and your audience might feel that too. I recently started implementing new shots, not only of me doing like a vlog style, but also setting the camera down, getting a wide shot of me walking across in the scene. It adds like a new perspective into the whole YouTube content. You don't feel like you're in the hands of the filmmaker the entire time. It gives you a little more space and I really like that. Don't neglect sound. Sound is important when you're trying to make your video look and feel cinematic. When most people are making a cinematic sequence, they end up neglecting sound and just placing music over in the entire video. And that limits your sound experience to only music. I feel this is done too much and we should try to differentiate ourselves. So start paying attention to sound, put a camera, put a camera on your microphone, put a microphone on your camera and after you record really cool shots, also record some really neat sounds as well. Now let's just say you totally neglected sound, so now what do you do? You can always go to freesound.com and download sound bites, ambient sounds or very specific sounds and you can include that into your video and that definitely enhances the production value. Yeah. Sound effects immerse the audience into your video, but you don't have to stop there. You can record a voiceover giving your thoughts or even record yourself narrating a poem. The world is full of ups and downs, and life can seem like a roller coaster. If we focus on our problems, that's all we're ever going to see. That really creates a sense of story and a message in your videos, which is also very important. Alright, so now you're implementing sound effects and sound design into your video. Um, what about music? Finding the right music is very important, but if you're really good in your sound design, I think you may not need any music at all. And when done right, the lack of music can really enhance a video. Think about it, so many people are putting music to their videos now. I find that the lack of music, when done right, can actually improve a video. And that's something I'm experimenting more often. Alright, so here's the next tip, is to keep it short. Usually the shorter the video is, the better it is because you have all the good stuff right in there and you're just cutting out all the fat. But also each clip in your sequence can probably be a lot shorter than what you would normally have. There's a classic quote of arriving late and leaving early. Um, when you do this, you get the exciting bits and you're not wasting your time with less interesting shots. Just get in and get out. Of course, if you have a good reason to stay in a shot for longer, go for it. All right, and the bonus tip is to film a lot of cinematic sequences, just to make a bunch. For me, cinematic sequences allow me to be more creative and experimental so I can get crazy with shots, editing, framing, whatever it may be. And with each little cinematic sequence I make, I try a little technique just to help practice my filmmaking skills. 
So grab a camera or practice with your cell phone and just make a bunch of these cinematic sequences. The more you make, the more proficient you will be in editing, composition, framing, camera angles, and developing your style. So those are five ways you can instantly improve your cinematic videos. Let me know your tips and tricks for filming cinematic videos. I would definitely like to read those and also other people can chime in as well. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Catch you next time.